Um, we, we think that people under 30 should not have the AstraZeneca vaccine, and that policy was introduced. And then in May, early May, they said actually people under 40 should have Moderna or Pfizer, and that's the policy now. Gareth Eve wants no one to go, to go through what his family is going through right now, and he wants people to be able to have a choice of vaccine. We don't really do that in this country, do we? No, we don't do that. Um, and, it, I mean, it's fair to say that other countries ha have taken a different mm. view. In Australia, for example, they were not giving the vaccine to those below the age of 60 at one point. But every country and every stage of the epidemic changes the risk-benefit analysis. If there's no COVID at all, then clearly um, there's more risk to taking a vaccine. But as now we have a rising epidemic, um, actually uh, the, the risk benefit from the vaccine for younger people would actually be in the favour of having AstraZeneca than not being vaccinated at all. But because we have sufficient supply of these RNA vaccines that are less implicated, um, that is why they've got sufficient stocks. You can say younger people have an alternate vaccine. Thank you very much, Fergus. Thank you. Fergus Walsh is our medical editor. We're going to bring you the weather now.